What up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today, we are getting into the second solo Jimin single for his new album. I'm excited. The last song was a banger. I've had it on repeat in between working on my own music uh, since I heard it, like literally constantly. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of addictive. I don't know. Maybe I should file a lawsuit. Anyway, the point is... I'm excited. I expect this to be great. I have enjoyed all of Jimin's stuff that I've heard from him. Like literally all of it has been amazing. So I have super high expectations for this. I, I can't even imagine it being bad. It's called like crazy. I think I'm going to be acting like crazy. I'm already acting like crazy and it's just the intro. I haven't heard anything of it. Let's get into this. Thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's missing more content like this. And I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side. Is that a sample from somewhere? That doesn't sound like Jimin. That sounds like it could be something from like a TV show or something. So I'm just curious. It's a uh, it's very ASMR sounding with all the whispering in your ear. So that's interesting. For people who really like ASMR, I bet that was amazing. ASMR, not really my favorite thing, but I, I like the, the general mood setting that's going on. Okay, so we so we so got a little little bit of Jim and R and B vibes. I'm digging it. Um, what 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 is happening with with the flash on the? Is that is that dirt on the ground? What is dirt in relation to this song mean? Symbolic, because you know BTS always symbolic. Is it love lost? Like you you've lost a person. They've they've died. Uh, the love is passed on, so to speak, or maybe it's um, a revival of love, like wanting something, longing for something that you have lost. You want it to come back a la, I don't, I don't know, a zombie or something to, to keep with my dead reference. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I'm sure you guys know already, though, like army theorists have probably figured all this out by the time I get this video up. But um, yeah, I was I was not expecting that. What was that? <laughs> what, uh, some black hand grabbed him as the the camera did some weird. We're we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. We need to see what what just happened. Okay, so um, maybe I was right about the zombie theory. Yo, if I was right about the zombie theory, call me Nostradamus Amari Damus out here. I, d I don't know what that was about. That's that's scary like like very uh horrifying which kind of ties to the last song off of face musically not the same at all uh but both have like those kind of like dark elements this one is like more undercurrent than the last one it's more like a subtle darkness which i think is cool the last one is more just like blatantly in your face dark which i also really liked but yeah speaking of musically they changed up the beat as soon as i just start talking about jim and r&b vibes they switched up to like that like 80s you know retro pop vibe very very dawn fm by the weekend if you've heard that it's a really popular 80s inspired retro pop retro r&b album very good very good
okay, for a second, I was like, is that black sludge coming out the walls? And then I was like, no, it, over here on the left side, it kind of looks like camera. Film. Well, I don't know if that'll be on the left side for you guys. Uh, the left side of what I'm watching, it kind of looks like in front of Jimin, the wall that's in front of Jimin, kind of looks like camera film a little bit. I don't know if it's called something else. That I'm not old enough to know what the original like black film was called but that's kind of what i thought it was but then i looked at the ground and it looks like there's water on the ground so i really don't know what's going on but the um sound of the song is very light bright happy dancey that's really cool but there's clearly like some dark elements here i'm not picking up everything that's happening in the lyrics she's talking about like being too far gone and too lost to find this the hymn that the person knew that he's singing to which is a little bit dark but like the video is like really dark like horror movie dark that's very interesting this is this is okay people don't like when i compare things to other things but i like comparing things to other things because i like when i can um pick up on like little thematic elements that are similar to other things that i like it's never meant out of shade but this is very much giving me Don FM or just in general the weekend vibes, all of the super retro pop weekend stuff, not like the early, you know, super RB weekend stuff, because it's on the surface light, bright, happy, dancey, but there are undercurrents of dark elements that are happening in the song, and also the like blue tent and the blue hue of the video in the club which is like very moody again don fm literally black and blue coloring there's also the party elements and like the love but like in a in a kind of i don't want to say toxic way but like you know saying you're out of your mind for someone isn't necessarily the most healthy love and the song is literally called like crazy but all of those things are very weekend-esque and i love the weekend's music so i very much love this and i like that jimin is giving us this vibe it's very different from the vibe that he gave us in the last single which i'm glad because i don't like when artists just make the same song over and over and over again bts has never had that problem but regardless, Jimin on his own with this solo project is clearly um, not doing that trend of making the same song 200 times in a row. And I appreciate that, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I know that something is happening because one, it's BTS. Everything is always symbolic of something else. There's always a deeper meaning, which I love, but I don't always catch it. But in this particular case, I really, I really don't know what's going on. Nothing in the lyrics so far has hinted me into what the uh dark elements of this video could mean other than just like symbolic of maybe longing i don't know i don't know Okay, I know I just stopped. There's a lot going on, guys, okay? Jimin giving us a lot to unpack. And by us, I mean me, because I know you've seen this video 12 times by the time I get this video out. Okay, so the, the little infrared thing, that's pretty cool. I think that's the effect that happened earlier when he got grabbed by the zombie hand. That's what I'm calling it until you, one of you guys in the comment section tell me a different theory that I like better than that I was right about the zombie graveyard symbolism also we saw people making out i'm not used to seeing people kissing in bts videos so uh that's a little hot hot get it infrared hot making out okay okay this this little thing where like the the, the crowd is all i don't know fuzzy or whatever is that like a artistic way of showing being drunk i say that because i don't drink so i don't really know what it's like to be drunk but i see this a lot in like club and party scenes in movies and in art and i just is always kind of wondered so now i'm asking but that's that's pretty cool that plus him um crowd surfing on the crowd earlier plus his just just beautiful above it all vocals is, is like a very um out of body type feeling which is is so cool that all of those different elements visually and sonically all connect.
Who's that? Who's that? They focused in on her. I'm assuming she's important. She looks Korean. Is that is that socially acceptable to say? Is that politically correct? I don't know. I just I'm assuming that she's like a an idol or maybe like a you know how idols will be background dancers or make appearances in already established idols videos and performances and stuff and then like later they go on to debut or when they're like rookie uh, idols they'll do that a lot um, so I'm just assuming that she's an idol and I'm also assuming that you guys know so if you do again comment section down below uh, if she's not Korean I am very sorry uh, it's just I'm watching a Jimin video like that I feel like the connection sh should be like it makes sense I'm not racist, okay? Let me just, I just want to put that out there. I am digging myself a bigger grave. I might as well just be under Jimin's table. This is weird. This is getting weird. I did, hopefully you guys got what I mean. Anyway, let's go. Between that, was that like a verse? I don't, I don't know. Pre-chorus. I don't know what that was there, but like the extra, extra high note, like all the Jimin's notes are high notes. Let's let's start there. But the extra, extra high notes, uh, and then like right before that, not the uh, arpeggiated section, which by the way, again, very Don FM. Um, and I'm comparing it to Don FM specifically because that's a recent project from another um, male vocalist with a very high range who did like a similar sound. And again. I, I like both of these projects uh well the songs that i've heard off this project but this particular song and the songs of don fm similar vibe but not that arpeggiated synth but there was like a little like shimmery thing happening back when he was like in the club i guess he's still in the club he's just in the bathroom um but ah so good so good i, I said something about an out of body experience earlier but this song about to levitate my soul out of my body like it's it's so good. It's, ah, uh, yes. I said, my lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss be popping. I'm standing at my locker and all the boys be jocking. He got, his lips is on fleek right now. That's, that's all of that was just my dramatic way of uh, drawing attention to the fact that his, he, 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 his lip gloss is popping. It is like, look, I'm gonna go back a little bit just so you could just, if you wasn't already focused on his lips for some reason, just look, just. Come on now. Come on now. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? If, you, if you've never heard that song, you're going to be very confused. But for all of you who are cultured, you'll know that's a bop. Go stream Lil Mama's lip gloss popping. Lip, lip, what's, what's the name of that song? Lip gloss? I think it's just lip gloss. Anyway, it's a good song. And his lip gloss is popping. Mud? Paint? 
might be mud, dirt, dirt plus alcohol, mud. Anyway, clearly symbolic of something just for you people who are smart in the comment section. Please let me know. I do want to know. I just, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that was great. I, I really enjoyed that. And also they brought it full circle there at the end with like the, the whispery ASMR talking thing again. But yeah, that's a banger. That's a hit. That song is also like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70% in English, which again, I didn't expect. So uh, showing off his language skills, but um, I can hear that playing in like every club on earth that's that's very much a club banger right there but clearly with the visuals there is some deeper darker vibe happening there in the song which i am very much interested in i think that i don't know i don't i don't i don't have a good theory in my head so just let me know what you guys think that the the true deeper meaning of the song is thank you so much for being here i really do appreciate it definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share not to miss any more content like this and i'll see all of you guys here on the channel next time